tribe it's me editing me um you can see post recording behind me um just jumping on to say i'm sorry about the noise in the background um my phone i recorded my phone and it picked up a lot of crackling and hissing but i am going to invest in a microphone and again thank you to tribe stars for all of your support for making it possible i hope that the crackling doesn't ruin your viewing too much. Um, I tried to record a bit more but ugh, my phone was just doing its thing so. And also to add like I'm so excited about this pattern that I feel like my uh, vlog was so higgledy piggledy but anyway enjoy viewing and I'll see you soon. Hey tribe welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this is the home of the Granny Square. You got one, two, three, four granny square projects popping right now. Um, I'm a crochet designer from the United Kingdom and today is July in review. I'm going to take you through every single project that I have finished and worked on throughout July 2020. So grab your projects, make yourself comfy and let's get started. If you are brand new, thank you so much for giving HDDC your time. I really, really hope that you like it here. And if you do, give it this video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you can get more of my videos. And if you are a returning viewer, yo, yo, yo tribe, what's good, what's happening? Are you ready? Right, first of all, I'm wearing Revival. It's too warm to be wearing this, but I have to wear it because yes the pattern for revival is out today as in August the 8th of <laughs> I almost said August the 8th of October <laughs> August the 8th 2020 this pattern is now available on my Etsy store and so I had to wear it to announce that I'm not going to promise to wear it throughout this video because I'll have to put my fan back on otherwise. It's quite warm here in the United Kingdom. I know you love the British forgiving weather updates. It's like a muggy, humid 20 something degrees, 25 degrees. I don't need to be wearing this or clawing my face. That's right, Revival has now been released. So this is my first official design that I have published. I self-designed it, it's been tech edited and it's been tested. It uses double knit yarn and it comes in nine sizes. So it comes from, let me check, a 20, 28 inch chest, which is 71 centimeters all the way up to a 62 inch chest which is 158 centimeters. Now I have decided to put my sizes A all the way up to I. The reason being is I found amongst the test group and I imagine the wider public, the wider tribe, there was a stigma over the sizes and I just, I didn't like that. And I think society's kind of told girls in particular that being a bigger size is a bad thing it's not a bad thing um, and so I just renamed them A, B, C, D all the way up to I because I felt like 5XL had a, a stigma and I'm not here for that because if you are 168 centimeters round why are you gonna hate yourself that's where like your heart and your lungs and whatnot all live so just embrace it so when you pick your size, you need to measure your chest circumference and then pick the corresponding size that works for you. Don't look at the sizes and think, no, that's too big, I can't wear that. Make one that fits you and love it. So there's nine sizes and it's available on my Etsy. I've also done a little um, kind of like promotional trailer for it as well. So I'll add it to this and I'll also make sure that it's linked above. I'm so excited for this. It's been such a long time coming. So what I'm gonna do is take this off just because I am so warm and then I'll talk you through it a little bit more. Okay, so Revival is a cropped jumper 
Now you can always make it longer by adding another row of squares to get the length that you like but I designed it to be cropped and the beauty of making your own clothes is you can do whatever suits you. There's also this cowl neck on here which makes it really snuggly. It's slightly oversized um, just to give it that extra slouch and I've put all of the details in the pattern um, how you can reduce it or make it longer to fit you and your preference again. Then the sleeves are crocheted and they use um, half treble in the UK and half double crochet in the US terms and they are worked in rounds and then there's a cuff. This is the one end I've not woven in. There's a cuff and it's got a rib effect on it. I'm purposely not getting too close because I've worn this so much it's a bit fuzzy. <laughs> um, and then the actual panels are made of granny squares front and back and you can pick whatever colours you like and then it's all put together um, I have put in diagrams to show you how um, the sleeves are constructed the cows constructed how it's all seamed there's examples of how the sleeves are worked so that you can follow that it's really in-depth and so this um, pattern is actually advanced beginner so as long as you can crochet a granny square you can handle this um, and then also there's some ribbing at the bottom which isn't as fluffy um, and that is using again the half treble or the half double into the back loop only um, and then there's also a tutorial for how I join the granny squares you can use join as you go and there's also continuous join as you go and for everything I've mentioned there, back loop, um, join as you go, continuous join as you go, there are tutorials all across YouTube and so this is a pattern that you will take to so easily. So that's actually out now on my Etsy store. So you can hop over there and pick up a copy for yourself. It's an instant digital download so you'll have it straight away. And the other way that you can get yourself a copy is to sign up to be a Tribe Star. So that is um, by signing up to a monthly subscription on Patreon. Patreon is a website for creators, creatives such as me. Um, they can create a community where individuals can pledge a monthly amount to support that creative. And so I have three different tiers set up and they're all named after granny squares. Like they had to be, didn't they? So I've got a two round, a six round and a 10 round. Um, and they correspond with dollars. But if you go on there and your currency is different, it will show you in your currency. So for example, $10 in the UK is £8.50 and it will show that for you. So, if you go over to Patreon, you can pick your tier. If you go for the $6 or the equivalent in your currency and above, and I feel like I have to add here, yes, I'm in the UK, but the default is set as uh, USD, anyway. So if you go for the $6 and above, then you get an automatic code that is free so that you can download this pattern. Not only do you get the free download, you also then get the inside HTDC post that I do. So every week I post and I share what's been going on in the background. So for example, all of my tribe stars already know what this pattern right here is. And you must all be looking at it like, hmm, haven't seen that. Tribe stars have seen it, they know everything. So if you want the inside scoop, I 100% say go over there and sign up. There's also um, Zoom chats available. So if you sign up to the $10 tier, which is 850 in UK, you can join in on our monthly Zoom chats, which are so much fun. So we all log in. I send all the details out for us all, we log in and then we bring our projects and we sit and have a good chat and it's really cool because I get to see like your projects, it's an actual two way conversation. So for example one of my tribe stars Sarah, she has an amazing yarn setup, like just shelves and shelves of yarn 
and she's shown us that and I've met her kitten and it's really really cute and then shardine has got absolutely loads of projects on the go and um, she has her own channel as well now, Shard Creates. And then Casey, Casey is just a wonder at like the amount of blankets she made. If you like my blanket stack video, you will like everything that she's made. And I will put hers below because she's just created her first YouTube episode as well. So we all get together and we have a really good chat about our project and I get to see everything that you're all working on. I also have to say, Cindy has made a three round granny square blanket joined in black, a little bit like Promise and I need to make one. I need to clear a gap in my schedule and make one. I mean, I might just start one anyway. I can kind of hear Cindy telling me, no, finish some of your projects first. And I can kind of hear some of the other tribe stars, Shardine, saying, just start it. But anyway, so if you want to join in on our chats, then definitely sign up to the $10 tier and then you can join in on our monthly chats. I try and hold them on the third Saturday of every month. Um, and they are usually around 8.30 p.m. GMT. And then I will let you know what that is in your own time zone. So yeah, that's how you can get hold of Revival. You can become a tribe star and get it for free with all of the other perks. Um, also, the other thing I'm going to be doing on my Patreon is... Oh, I'm so excited for Patreon. So much love for my Patreon and my tribe stars. Thank you. Um, you may rem remember that I have an absolute backlog of patterns. Like I have about 10 patterns that are at various stages pretty near to completion on all of them and could be released. So I'm asking Patreons, tribe stars get to choose which order I am publishing patterns. So I'm gonna ask them to choose which pattern comes in January. Um, I have patterns lined up for, this is August. I have got uh, September, which is promise. I've got October, which is this one. I've got November, secret, December, secret, and I'm going to ask my tribe stars to pick what comes out in January, and then I will let them choose what comes out in February, and then by then I'll be about caught up, and I can start introducing more new designs. Um, so if you want those voting privileges, then get yourself over to Patreon. Uh, in my next video, next time, I'm going to show you the backlog of all of the patterns that I've made. Um, so we've got Risen, we've got Promise, we've got Victory, Enamoured, Inspirited, Remake, I think that might be it. And then I will um, let Tribe Stars choose and I'll tell you which one, which one's coming next. Okay, so that's Revival, that's what I was wearing, that's my pattern that's been released. Oh you will get a nice clean copy of this. It won't have all of the, the writing on it that I've done when it was tested. And it is 16 pages in length. I have gone really in depth and I'm really, really, really proud of this pattern. I'm also really proud of the other products that I've got coming and there are some sneak peeks in Revival on the last few pages. Um, if you go over to the Etsy listing and scroll through the photos, you will also see sneak peeks. I can't wait. Okay, so that's what I'm wearing. That's my <sighs> big news. Um, I also just want to say a huge thank you to the Tribe Stars and all you, the Tribe, for all your support because this has been a long, long time coming. I have been working so hard to learn everything necessary for this and without the support of Tribe Stars I don't think it would have got off the ground because they were always in the background saying just keep going, you're getting so close, just keep going and I can't thank you enough for being there and every week I get to show up and I get to show what I'm working on and that's really nice to get that feedback and that encouragement. So thank you so, so much. I love, love, love our Tribe Star community. Um, and incidentally, everything that I have learned whilst doing this is what has inspired my new products. And that's what I'm gonna say for now. 
because there's so much to share this month that if I give you everything now, your brain will just be like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> right, so my patterns. I'm also going to stay within finished objects and my patterns and I'm going to show you this little one. This is my Kindle cover that I made. So you might recall last time I was going on about the yellow granny squares that I was making for my Kindle cover. And I did finish that yellow panel, it's upstairs somewhere. I have a huge stack of discarded granny squares and I think they're going to have to become some sort of blanket, like a hodgepodge blanket. Anyway. That's a, another thought for another day. I finished this, I finished the yellow bit and then I just thought, I'm gonna have to line it. I don't really feel like sewing. And so I made this. And this was so simple to make and it also has the added bonus that it's really bright and because when I don't have my contact lenses in, I don't, I don't have the best sight. I can just see it and grab it. <laughs> um, so this is using scrap yarn basically, um, it's my double knit scraps magic knotted together to make um, just two panels that I then seam together and I purposely left the seam exposed, I think the black just brings it all together and I held it double with um, a strand of four ply black yarn which just finishes it all off. It takes these really bright colours and kind of makes it into a bit more grungy um, undertones, like more muted, and I'm really, really happy with that. I haven't got my Kindle to put in it. Do you want me to get my Kindle to show you? Hang on. Okay, here it is in there. It's really snug, which I purposely designed. Um, it's just enough padding to like protect it from any knocks. I wouldn't pile loads of stuff on it just in case, but I wouldn't do that even in like a, a really heavy duty case. Um, so it's perfect to just slip into your bag and know that it, it's protected from bumps, knocks, and the screen's fine. Um, and yeah, I didn't make a closing because it's just a simple slide in and out. And I'm really, really pleased with it. So there isn't a front and back, but um, I tend to somehow end up with the pink on the back, I don't know how. And that's the other side. So I'm really pleased with that and I'm happy to write that up as a free pattern and put it on my Patreon for everyone to download. So if you would like it then just drop um, an emoji below of a book and then I'll get this written up if there's enough emojis so that everyone can access it. It was really simple, it took me like, I don't know half hour or something and now it's done and I'm really pleased with it. I'm not going to finish the granny square one, I know that might disappoint a few people but I've got one case and that's all I need and I just love how like it looks piled up with all the crochet <sighs> and this, this, the black held with the bright is actually in two patterns that I am um, going to share with my tribe stars this weekend so next weekend it'll be the following weekend from August the 8th today so I really hope they like them because I've named them both and I've made really good progress on them oh, anyway right my patterns I'm still in my patterns um, we're gonna do this one this is promise it's a granny square jumper dress. I haven't weaved in all of the ends, but I've took pictures though. Um, I've actually called for testers on this one, but I still have a few sizes left to fill. So if anybody else would like to test it, if they could email me, I'll put my email below. It's hddesignscrochet at outlook.com. Just email me and put in the header, promise testing, and then just um, let me know like your chest circumference um, and then I can let you know if I've got space for that or not because I really want to get this tested so I can get it released to everybody in September um, which is really exciting so thank you for everyone that already responded to my call for testers um, I had like four or five people want to do size C so I've got I've filled the slot for that one but if you do email me and I don't have a slot available, then I will um, 
put you on my list and next time another project is available I ask my tribe stars first then I email out to um, the list that I've got and then I do the shout outs on Instagram and on Patreon uh, YouTube sorry so if anybody can test promise for me then holla because that would really really be appreciated um, I'm on track to get that out September end of September which um, if you are then a tribe star that means that you will have a pattern in this month August you'll get revival and then you'll get promise mm. okay and then I'm gonna move on to this one this is a pattern that I designed myself and finished in two days flat not even joking like if I'd have done this over a weekend I probably would have had it done in like a day or something stupid um so this is invested <laughs> And it's a vest or a tank top made from granny squares. Now, I had this idea in my mind for quite some time and I hit a real funk with my crochet and my knitting. And I didn't really want to make anything. It just, I think we all get those where we're just like, nah, leave me, I'm done. And I was missing it, but there's also a lot going on in the background with testing and pushing and getting everything out. So I just needed a, a palette cleanser. So I started these on, I think I posted to the Tribe Stars and just said, look, I don't want to crochet. And I just feel like I'm having a bit of a tumble. Like, you know, that spiral that sometimes you get in where everything just feels a bit heavy. Um, but I recognized that that was happening. And so I said, I haven't really worked on much, but there was still loads of updates for them that week. Everyone was really kind, like take a step back, take a break. And I thought, yeah, I need to take a break. I'm going to start a new project. <laughs> I don't know. I think because it's been in my mind so long and I just wanted to let out some creativity because I'd done so much in terms of admin and um, typing and all of that that I just, I just wanted to make. So I did. I made this. <laughs> I love the colour scheme. It is bright. And it's a v-neck. I've never seen a granny square v-neck before, so I just decided to go with it. And it's got like kind of tennis vibes almost with the um, like rib that I've put. And then the sleeves are really wide and they have their own finish. And then I've also done the finish at the bottom. Now they are two different pinks, but it mimics itself well enough that it ties it all together. I used a really limited colour palette for this one, um, I picked out some real pops and then some much more muted colours, I think if I was to redo it I probably would just done it in really bright pops, let me show it on, show it on, <laughs> so I want to wear this with a really poofy sleeved shirt um, you can get the kind of semi sheer ones or just like a really big voluptuous sleeve in a solid uh, fabric, cotton, whatever. Um, I've purposely made it oversized and I also in the winter will wear it with like a high neck, turtleneck, long sleeve top. Um, and then if I just turn on the side you can see that it's quite open. I purposely made it loose and big. Now if I just move you back a smidge. It looks silly with this top. Let's tuck that out of the way. You can just see it's it's kind of cropped. Um, it's just uh, below my waist. So I'll get some footage of me twirling around. Um, but I've purposely made it oversized just because I wanted the, um, the larger fit and then, yeah, with the layers underneath because this is definitely a layering piece. So I want like a high neck or I want um, poofy sleeves. It's going to look amazing. Let's take that off because I'm so warm. <laughs> so that is invested. One of my tribe stars, Tyrion, she actually said that she would make it full length, um, like into a dress. I love that idea. So what do you think to this pattern? 
and you see yourself rocking it, I definitely need to show it off with um, more styled so you can see what vibe I'm working with. But I'm really happy with the v-neck and that's just made from Franny Square Triangles, half squares. <sighs> um, so in terms of my patterns, that's all I'm going to show you this time. Um, the other ones I've been working on, I've got two more that I've been working on. I am going to save them. Uh, I will show the Tribe Stars, but I'm going to save it for YouTube till next month when I've got a bit more. They'll probably be finished and then I'll show you, to be honest. Um, yeah, all of that just for my patterns. <sighs> wow, I just had this huge burst of like, whew, and here they are. So let's go into whips for July. Um, so I worked on the finished objects, obviously, got them finished. And then in terms of whips, I have two ongoing, which I'm saving. Um, and then I'm, I'm half tempted to just get them like, and this, and this, and this, and I did this. Anyway, and then I also worked on this blanket, which is called Together. And I started this the first day that I started working from home, so I started working remotely. And um, I decided that I was going to do a square a day. Let's put some of these so you can see them. I decided I was going to do a square a day. And um, they are five round granny squares. And I was doing them every single day. And it's quite big. It's upside down as well. It's huge. And then everything with revival and the testing groups and everything kicked in and my crochet just kind of I was I just wasn't so into it or maybe it wasn't that I was so into it it's just I actually had to sleep so I either slept or I crocheted so I slept which kind of sucks but you need sleep so you know um and so I actually managed to get like over 40 something squares behind it's over a month that I didn't touch it and I kind of realized when I posted to the tribe like the reason that I was feeling a little bit unlike me it's because I hadn't used my crochet hook in so long and that's not that's not right for me so I have started adding squares on which is why there's quite a lot of ends now um, but I still have like over 30 to add on because since I picked it up time has moved on so there's more squares when I last checked a couple of weeks ago I should have had 134 squares and I was like 40 short and now I must need about 140, 150 squares but I am very pleased to say that I have this weekend off so I'm off work tomorrow which is Friday because you'll see this the Saturday and um, I'm off on the Monday and I have my tub of yarn ready, my hook and I'm going to sit and make all the squares to catch up and weave all the ends in, that's this weekend's plan and I can't wait, I'm really excited for it so there will be a huge update on Instagram because I was posting my daily squares on there and then it kind of, it, I wasn't making squares so you didn't get them um, so I posted not long ago with a bunch of them that I'd added on so I'll be doing a couple of posts over the weekend just to show the squares um, but I'm going to carry on doing this blanket. I said until lockdown stopped. And technically Leicester's still in a lockdown. We were the only place, the first place, sorry, in the United Kingdom to have a local lockdown. So that meant that the rest of the areas, the rest of the cities were lifted in some way. Their restrictions were lifted. But Leicester remained. And um, there's still restrictions in place. And it's not going to be reviewed till the 14th which is over a week away, which means that by then um, I will have been March, April, May, June, July, August, yeah, 
we would have been in a lockdown for like five months. Um, and so I was just going to carry on until the lockdown finished. Thinking lockdown would be like three weeks or... Like I've said before, I don't think any of us comprehended, like, subconsciously we were probably aware, but consciously we were like, it would just blow in and blow out. It is not blown out. Um, so then I decided that I was just going to carry this on as like a project until life kind of resumes, not as normality, but without social distancing in place. So possibly when a, va when a vaccination's been found. Um, and so I was going to continue this till it was a good size and then start another one and carry on with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add all of the squares on. I actually did a row was seven squares, so a week. And I did that for eight weeks and then I started on the second block so that it would be 14 squares in length. And I've only got one row I think two rows one and a half rows to put on to square off the bottom can you see and then I will be going along 14 squares at a time to add a row on and I'm gonna make it um, it's 14 squares wide so I think I'm gonna make it about 18 rows in length to give it a really good size and then I'll oopsie I'll reassess at that point and see um, Oh, my bracelet's just snagged it. My medical bracelet. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna reassess at that point and see if it's like a, a really big size, the size that I'm happy to stop at. Um, but it's, I do really, really like it. It's really bright. Um, I think part of what's putting me off is I want to put a border on it and it's gonna be massive. It's gonna be huge. Uh, yeah. That is my together blanket and I've been posting updates under the hashtag HGDC Granny Calm because I really find that making granny squares really does help me find a sense of calm um, and just recenter. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of ends but I'll be weaving them in and I'm really looking forward to working on this this weekend. Um, and it's a huge stash buster because I've basically just picked up every colour and put it in. Um, I feel like you can't get a, f a true sense of it. Wow. Um, and I will be doing something similar with the next one that I start. I really like the idea of having a daily granny square project. Um, I don't know, I might pick... I'm not sure what I would do in terms of colour, but... I might limit the palette, I don't know, but I've got a while to think about that. So I'm looking forward to putting in the new yarn that I got. If you haven't seen, I did a yarn haul and I got um, quite a bit of new yarn and I'm slowly but surely adding it in here. So that was a new green and the peach, that peach was new as well. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting just a little bit more balance of pink back in there. So, I think that's all of my whips. Oh, no, hang on. I've got two more whips and then we're done. Okay, so, more granny square projects. Um, I made these granny squares for my Patreon tiles um, because each round is based off of a granny square. So the two round, the two dollar, is this yellow and pink. And then the six round are the white, pink and yellow and then I made the 10 round which is the grey, white, green, pink, blue, pinks and yellows and these are HGDC brand colours like this is this is HGDC and so you'll now see these colours in all the branding so the Etsy headers, the thumbnails on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon everywhere this is the colour scheme and so I really wanted to make something out of this colour scheme so that I could really be repping HCDC. I wanted to wear it. Um, so I started something. But I also have in mind like two other projects that this colour scheme has inspired. Um, just because 
like these are my these are these are brand colours and there's a few projects that I want made out of this. Um, so yeah, that's HGDC and that's the ten round. I love it. I love it. Okay, so based off of that, I started a second revival, and this is one of the panels. So I've got. I decided to go heavily pink because. Um, it's weird, I was never a pink person, but I'm really drawn to it now, so I decided to go more pink. Um, it's got the pops of yellow, and so it's got all of these colours included. And isn't that mad? Like, that does look so different to that, although they're very similar. Um, so there's two different yellows in there, you can see them next to each other. That's the turquoise, the grey, you've got quite a fluorescent pink that is completely blowing out. The yellow again, a baby pink, a stronger pink, um, it's more like Barbie, and then green, there's white, yeah, and then I made the two panels, and then I started putting the border on the panels, and then I ran out of the pink yarn, oh, <laughs> and because I just bought so much yarn, I couldn't really justify going and buying any more but I'm hoping that with revival sales there'll be a little bit there that I can go and get some more pinks so I can finish this one off so if you want to help me out go purchase the pattern so I can finish this <laughs> um yeah so it's gonna be really pink and it's gonna be I can see me wearing this one with more like um pajamas like chilling in the house and one of my testers, um, Janine, she made a peach version to wear with her pyjamas. I just love it. Um, and what I've done is I've gone up a... Did I go up a size or two sizes? Let me just check that. Because my first revival I made in um, what is now size B. And then I went with... Yeah, I'm sure I've done a size C. Which then puts me, let me just check, yeah, it puts, it's a size above, so it's already slightly oversized and then I've done it a size above and that was purely just because I wanted it really slouchy, um, it's still relatively cropped but not as cropped as my first one, and my first one's only three rows of squares and I've done four here, I lengthened it, um, so the pattern calls for three rows and I put four on just so it's a bit longer, um, just to give me that extra snuggleage, and I'm really looking forward to it, it's seriously bright, um, so yeah, that was off of, that was inspired by this, by my tendrons, um, and I'm thinking of making a Tribe Star blanket, and then releasing the pattern to Tribe Stars, um, it would just be a series of granny squares, you don't have to copy these colours, you can use your own. I was thinking of doing a blanket that incorporates the ten rounds, the six rounds and the two rounds all together. In like different formations. Um, so I don't know if you like that idea or not. I'm going to float that past the tribe stars and see what they say. Um, good. I think that could look really, really, really pretty. Yeah, definitely. I like that idea. I'm just envisaging all the colourways in my head. Yes, so this amazing square has really, really boosted my ideas and designs to the point where I've actually almost got a collection, like, sketched out. Yeah. Okay, so that's all my whips, all my finished objects, all the patterns I'm sharing at the moment. And I don't have any new stash acquisitions. I mean, I got so much yarn last time, so no. Um, and I don't have any, I didn't buy any crochet or knitting books either. Um, I did buy business related books, but I think I'm gonna do a separate review on that. So I think that's everything, everything. Oh, and also to add, 
because on Revival, a lot of people were saying that they felt intimidated by the um, ends. And I mean, I don't, I don't weave in all my ends. <laughs> but then you should see the amount of ends down here. That's just one handful next to my jar of ends that is overflowing to the point where you can't see the jar because of all the ends I've just thrown at it. Um, this is the amount of Granny Square projects I've had. Oh no, it's everywhere going on. I've created all of this. I feel like that should be my um, screenshot. Like, Okay, now I've got to clean the carpet again. Um, yeah, that is the amount. Oh, look at the sun coming out. That's the amount of Granny Square projects I've been working on in the background. So, um, wow. Anyway, because people are finding the ends a little bit intimidating and it's meaning that this pattern's a non-starter for them, I wanted to show that you could just do block Granny Squares and then that way you've massively reduced your ends. You've gone from um, two, four, six ends per square to just two. So you've massively reduced it. Um, so that's an option if the ends are just putting you off. And I'd also just say, weave them in as you go, because I've weaved all of these in, and they really didn't take that long. Um, the thought of doing it takes longer than actually doing it. It really does. So just do them as you go along, and then they're done. So I hope you all want to rush off and get a copy of my pattern. I would love it if you did that. I'm really looking forward to seeing new faces um, amongst the tribe stars. Can't wait to meet you all. And I can't wait to show off more of the projects that I've got in mind. So I'll leave it there for now. I hope July has been good to you and I hope August is even better. And I can't wait to show you more. Pa I just can't wait. Shall I just show you now? No. No, I can't wait to show you more patterns and so I will see you again here at the end of August for August in Review or the start of October, September, September, missed a whole month there um, and in the meantime check out my social media, make sure that you've pressed like for this, thumbs up, subscribed and I will see you soon. Take care tribe.